and liftoff. Decollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Since its launch on Christmas Day 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in the headlines. Unexpectedly, the universe has revealed itself through the use of the Superstar Telescope. It has just recently found six galaxies that predate the Big Bang by 500 million years. These galaxies have more stars than modern galaxies like the Milky Way, in addition to being better formed. These galaxies contradict our picture of the cosmos by existing when they shouldn't. Scientists are further unsettled by the discovery made by University of Minnesota researchers that one of these galaxies is so strange that we may need to start over from scratch. It's time to examine the James Webb Space Telescope. In the infrared spectrum, the James Webb Space Telescope is far more sensitive at longer, redder wavelengths than the Hubble Space Telescope and can gather roughly 10 times as much light. This opens up a whole new window of information for scientists to study about the early universe. However, in order to comprehend the early cosmos, we must travel back in time to a moment when space and time were non-existent. The Big Bang, an incredibly hot and dense point, is said to have been the universe's birthplace, according to the hypothesis of cosmic inflation. The cosmos had an amazing burst of expansion known as inflation when it was only a tenth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second old. The universe doubled in size at least 90 times during this time, almost instantly expanding from subatomic to golf ball size. Following that burst of expansion, the universe's expansion slowed down. The universe cooled and substance began to form as space expanded. The universe was made up of neutrons, protons, electrons, anti-electrons, photons and neutrinos within one second after the Big Bang. Nonetheless, the universe was practically too hot for light to shine for the first 380,000 years or so. However, matter started to cool after 380,000 years and it cooled down enough for atoms to form. The universe descended into darkness at this stage since no stars or other luminous objects had yet to appear. 400 million years after the Big Bang, the cosmos is starting to emerge from its dark ages. The age of rayonization refers to this stage of the universe's history. The first stars appeared during this epoch, which lasted for almost 500 million years. According to scientific theory, galaxies reached adolescence between one and two billion years after the Big Bang, having started to form up in the first billion years following the explosion. A dilemma exists, though, since the James Webb Space Telescope discovered not one, not five, but six galaxies that were fully formed within 500 million years after the Big Bang. A University of Minnesota-led research peered more than 13 billion years into the past, using first-of-its-kind data from the James Webb Space Telescope and found a unique little galaxy that produced new stars at an exceptionally high rate for its size. The galaxy is among the tiniest ever seen at this distance and may provide new insights into the properties of galaxies that existed soon after the cosmos began. Even though the galaxy is only a millionth the size of the Milky Way, we can still see that the same amount of stars are being formed there every year. The galaxies we observe in the immediate cosmos are considerably different from those that existed during the early stages of the universe. Our understanding of how and when these initial stars and galaxies formed during the dark ages of the cosmos may be aided by scientists examining these galaxies. The origin of the cosmos is still a mystery till that point. As the days go by, more Judy WST observational results show that the universe was stranger than we could have ever imagined, especially in its early stages. 
In addition to finding these early galaxies, Webb has just identified a black hole that is nearly as old as the universe itself. The ultra-powerful sensors on the telescope have allowed scientists to detect what they believe to be the oldest known black hole in the cosmos. It is hard to imagine that this supermassive black hole, which dwarfs our sun by an astounding 10 million times, was at the core of a galaxy 570 million years after the universe first began. The universe itself is thought to be 13.7 billion years old, to put things into perspective. At only 570 million years after the Big Bang, observations made with the James Webb Space Telescope have shown the existence of an active, supermassive black hole, 10 million times the mass of the Sun, that is actively expanding as it sucks up stuff from the surrounding space. Scientists hope that this record-breaking supermassive black hole won't keep its position for very long, because it is now the earliest growing one to be discovered. One of the first galaxies to be identified was discovered to contain a black hole. It was formerly known as EGSY-8, but it has now been renamed CE as SN-19. One of the greatest mysteries of the early universe, how the black holes in the cosmic dawn evolved to such enormous sizes in such a short period of time, may be resolved with its discovery. According to an astronomer involved in the discovery, we found the most distant active galactic nucleus, AGN, and the most distant earliest black hole we've ever found. ERS-1019 was first observed by scientists as a part of their research into the light that is produced in the very early universe by star formation. It is believed that star formation activity ionizes neutral hydrogen, resulting in the emission of light known as Lyman-alpha emission. Light could not travel because of the neutral hydrogen cloud that covered the early universe. Light could only flow freely after this hydrogen was ionized. There is still much to learn about this known reionization epoch. Although it is difficult to view so deep into the early cosmos, we know it happened in the first billion years following the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. Given their relative brightness, CRS Den 19 and a few other super early galaxies are prime candidates for this kind of study. The galaxy was the oldest and most distant galaxy ever spotted when it was discovered in 2015 through Hubble data analysis. Further sightings verified its presence, but more specific details remained elusive. Because of the universe's expansion, the earliest light in the universe has shifted so far into the infrared section of the spectrum that it takes a powerful, dedicated infrared instrument like JWST to study them. Thus, ERS-1019, the brightest Hubble galaxy from this era, was a prime candidate for JWST to observe. With all four of its instruments focused on the galaxy for just one hour, the telescope produced an abundance of data. At the time, I thought it was kind of amazing what JWST could show us. Astrophysicist Rebecca Lawson stated, We've seen this entire portion of the spectrum of this galaxy and any galaxies early in the universe we've never seen before. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of information. However, she soon observed something that caught her off guard. Apart from the star formation light, there was a broad emission signature that is often linked to an AGN. Things became fascinating when she brought it up to several AGN researchers. In the early cosmos, galaxies usually generate light from either AGN or star formation. The unexpected sight of both in the same galaxy was overwhelming. While the black hole is having some effect on the emission lines we detect, the star-forming region of the galaxy still accounts for the majority of the light in our photos. It is not as unexpected as one might imagine that a supermassive black hole was observed to be expanding more than 13.2 billion years ago. Larger black holes from the early cosmos have been found. How the black holes in those galaxies were so enormous so early in the history of the cosmos 
is still a mystery to scientists. It's a mystery in and of itself that this black hole was discovered so soon after the universe began, approximately 500 million years ago. Whether we like it or not, the picture of the early universe is evolving more quickly than we had anticipated, therefore it's time to start over.